little bit of also for today, I'll be sharing with you my favorite products or makeup products for the month of July. First of all is skincare. So this brand, napakakilala na siya this past few months. And tinray ko lang, it is the Eye White Facial Wash Whitening Vita. And ito, binili ko to nung nasa Biko lang ako kasi wala akong dalang facial wash. So tinray ko lang siya. And for this month, naging favorite ko na siya. Ito yung araw-araw kong ginagamit to wash my face in the morning and also at night kapag tinanggal ko na yung makeup ko. And this product sucks the oil out of your freaking face. Ganun ka din de. But if you're, um, dry na face or dry skin, I don't recommend this because for me, originally dry skin ako. But naging medyo combination na skin ko because of my celetic hydrating ano naman, facial wash. Ganun ka din de yung um, face ko. Ganun siya nag-change depends on the product that I've been using. So, for this one, naging dry na ulit yung face ko. Nagkakaroon ako ng dry patches. So, definitely mag-moisturize after gamitin ito. But then again, sobrang nalilinis na yung face ko and socks to oil nga on my face. So, next up is another skincare. Well, skincare ba ito? The same makeup remover from me bilhin yung may colorless and then blue. And I think available pa ito. Medyo matagal na rin kasi ito sa akin last year pa ata. And ngayon ko lang siya ulit tinamit because may micellar water from Bure. Bure ba? Tama ba yung pronounce yun? Bus na siya. So, ito tinry ko. And this one gusto ang gusto ko ito kasi even the most waterproof makeup product that I have, natatanggal niya talaga. Especially sa mascara. Kasi yung micellar water hindi niya masyadong natatanggal yung waterproof mascara. But this one, hindi niya nasisting yung eyes ko, pero pag nirug ko lang ng gently yung aking eyes with a cotton pod, natatanggal na talaga yung waterproof mascara. Moving on to the makeups, medyo marami na makeup. So, first na sabihin ko is a brush na muna. And it is the e.l.f. stipple brush. Sorry, dirty siya. This one, ito ginagamit ko to blend out my foundation for BB cream on a daily basis kasi kung narapanood niyo yung mga previous videos ko, ito yung ginagamit ko kasi sobrang dali ng mag-blend using this one kasi medyo malaki siya and hindi siya masakit sa face kapag sobrang mamadali ko na hiniikot-ikot mo, hindi masasakan yung face mo. And also, ang ganda ng finish niya kapag ito yung ginagamit ko to blend out my foundation and even my concealer. Next up is something for the eyebrows and it is the Nishido Retractable brow pencil. I think hindi ko na alam yung tawag sa kanya dahil nabura na yung nandito. And ito yung ginagamit ko on a daily basis sa aking eyebrows as you can see. And kung nakita niyo yung mga previous videos ko na wala akong makeup, medyo may sparse yung aking eyebrows sa bandang tail. And ito yung ginagamit ko and kahit pagpawisan ako and everything, hindi siya natatanggal. Hindi siya nagiging patchy kasi may iba akong nagamit na pencil. Kaya pumisan ako, nagiging patch. So this one in there. So I super love this kahit medyo super dark siya. Then again, the product itself is very good. And of course, mura lang siya. Another thing for the eyebrows, ito favorite ko na rin to. This is the Every Banana Brow Gel in Warm Brow. Very matte. And gustong gusto ko talaga yung product niya. Since nasistapot niya yung eyebrows ko, hindi parang nalalaglag yung hair ko sa aking eyebrows. But then again, ang ayoko lang dito is the applicator kasi ang daming nakukuha ang product pag tinanggal niyo yung spoolie. And if you wanna know more about this product, I have a review already of my channel. I'll link that in the description box down below. Moving on to the eyes. Ngayong month, meron akong favorite eyeshadow palette because I've been changing up my look and gusto ko na mag-eyeshadow para hindi yung plain lang. Ang ginagamit kong eyeshadow is the Sleek Eye Divine um, eyeshadow palette in on natural. Ayan, it has a lot of neutral eyeshadow. So, ito yung ang laki ng mirror. And the like kong ginagamit dito is this one to highlight my brown bone. This one all over my lid. And then, this one sa aking crease. And of course, pwede kang gumawa dito ng parang neutral or parang wala lang na eyeshadow. And pwede rin smoky eyes kasi may dark eyeshadow siya right here. Another thing for the eyes is 
Hippie Mascara and this one is the Lancome Hypnose Drama Mascara. Again, yung mga ginamit ko dito para nagamit ko na rin sa Get Ready With Me video ko. Again, I will link that in the description box. And then this one, gusto ko to kasi it's not waterproof. If you know me, I don't like waterproof mascara. But then again, hindi siya ganang kamilis matuyo. So, medyo mahirap ang work ng medyo basang basa yung mascara. But then again, gusto ko siya na-ump niya yung aking lashes and na-separate niya. Walang clumps and whatsoever. So, yeah. <laughs> oh my God, umaalang kasi ng ano nito, ng regular size. Parang 1.7 ata. Hindi ko na siya bibilin kasi mahal. Pero super worth it naman yung price. Ang ganda talaga nito. And my last favorite item for the month of July is a lipstick or a lip tint and a cheek tint. And it is from Pink Sugar. This is their Sugar Tint Lip and Cheek Tint. And this is in the shade of Queen Bee. Hindi ito yung gamit ko ngayon. Pero ito yung gamit ko sa Get Ready With Me ko. So again, nandun nga yung link sa description box. Ito medyo hindi siya MLB. But maganda yung color niya. Pwede yung color with it. Pero pang cheek tint, hindi ko ma-work out kung paano siya maging cheek tint. Ang hirap niya yung print sa aking cheeks. But sa lips, perfect. I love it. Yeah, that is about it for my beauty favorites for the month of July. If you like this video, please do thumbs up and then comment down below yung mga favorites na rin for the month of July. And then please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. And of course, remember, you are beautiful. Bye!